I put a challenge up in my um, YouTube channel previously, a monetary challenge on the writings of Maria Valtorta, which nobody seems to have wanted to engage with. So I'm upping the ante here, okay? The writings of Maria Valtorta, this epic work, the poem of the man God, the gospel as revealed to me. I'm republishing this challenge with a, an increased monetary reward for anybody that wants to take up this challenge. And the monetary reward is 5,000 uh, euros. So what? $5,500 to prove ha how uh, Maria Valtorta could have naturally written this work. Okay. Cardinal Fernandez says that it, this work cannot be considered of supernatural origin, but we have had no studies that demonstrate that it is not of supernatural origin. I'm not here to um, say that everything in there is true, but she could not naturally, by herself, a bedridden woman from 1943 to 1947, have written that work naturally with the coherence and the understanding um, that she had. This woman had no studies in university and biblical studies. She never went to university. She never had access to a lot of the data. And even if she mysteriously did collaborate with some expert, how would, hypothetically, those people have had access to data which was only discovered uh, decades later. Um, archaeological data which was only discovered after she died. How was this work written naturally? So I'm throwing this out. I'm going to put some links to, below to some scientific studies on the writings of Maria Valtorta just to, to get people aware. And if you want to claim this uh, f amount is 5,000 euros, you will have to present a peer-reviewed paper how Maria Valtorta would have naturally written that work. Those 10 volumes of the Poem of the Man God or as it's known today, the Gospel has revealed to me. There is a wealth of knowledge in there, a wealth of scientific data, a wealth of understanding of seasons, archaeology, topography, um, Roman life, Jewish life, Jewish understanding, and etc., etc. But um, the more people have started to study it, especially with the advent of AI over the last twenty years, the more the science has has sprung forward. It seems this work was written for our time, this this time which is so rationalistic that we can now an ex examine a private revelation with the light of science. So, how did this woman write that work naturally? Just want to see some of Maria Valtorta's detractors uh, come out and present the evidence as to how that could have been done naturally. You know, um, for those who do not know who Maria Valtorta was, she was paralysed uh, and spent, wrote all of this work uh, in, in a bedroom, most of it, in Via Reggio in Italy. And the work has an incredible amount of science and data that science, we've been able to, to study. Um, now, from the church point of view, uh, there's always from the spiritual side that she could have had some preternatural help, but that's for another discussion. We're, we're here talking about natural and supernatural uh, abilities here. So how naturally would she have been able to write that work if it's not of supernatural origin? You know, how would she have access to the amount of data that she has in that book? Data that biblical experts didn't have in the 1940s. That was only really discovered later on. 
So, here's the challenge. I'm republishing it again. 5,000 euros to anybody that can scientifically prove naturally how she wrote that work. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.